I hadn't seen Ed, Ed and Eddie in such a long time. It's one of those shows that I remember watching a lot when I was younger, but I couldn't really remember too much about it or what it was like. I could picture the animation style, but not kind of what the episodes themselves were like. So I decided that considering I'm on a Christmas animation kick at the moment, it was the perfect time to watch Ed, Ed and Eddie's Jingle Jingle Jangle. And this aired originally in December 2004. I'll be honest, it feels a little bit dated. Not massively so, but watching it, I felt like it was more of a product of the 90s. But it didn't, you know, hinder my enjoyment or not. Did I enjoy it? Well, from a nostalgic perspective. But it is very chaotic. And it's definitely one of those animations that I think suits the target audience more than being family friendly, which is completely fine. The show at no point suggests that it's interesting for the whole family. There are animated shows that are like that, but this one I feel definitely is more for the target audience. I'm not sure how it's marketed, but I'm guessing around about children aged 8 to 12, maybe 7 to 12, give or take. Having said that, after the first half, it's not very long, less than half an hour, after the first half, I actually feel like the narrative gained momentum and I actually started to enjoy it. It's directed by Danny Antonucci and we have Matt Hill as Ed, Sam Vincent as Double D Ed and Tony Sampson as Eddie. And the narrative is quite fun, um, by which I mean hyperactive. Eddie um, has found out that he's getting clothes for Christmas so he decides to try and enjoy other people's Christmases instead because a boy of that age rarely wants to receive clothes for Christmas and the Kanker sisters are cha channeling a more religious aspect as, as they follow um, various religious practices which doesn't describe it very well but I don't want to go into too much detail about the narrative specifics because it is only half an hour and if I you know, divulge too much, I'm going to ruin a lot of it. Certainly if you want to watch it for the reason that I did, and that's to see what it was like to settle curiosity, I'd rather you watched it rather than me completely settling your curiosity. Um, and ultimately, it's about learning the true meaning of Christmas, not just the religious aspect, which does play a part, but the concept of it about being... A, a, the concept that it is about spending time with your loved ones and family and it's all about giving, not receiving. Although arguably the two go hand in hand. And it did, after kind of the halfway mark, it stopped being quite as hyperactive. It was very all over the place to begin with, very high energy. And when I kind of started watching it, that came back to me. I kind of slowly started to remember that that's the pacing that Ed, Ed and Eddie is like. So it's, it's in fitting with the average episode from what I can recall. But after about the first halfway mark, or the only halfway mark, it kind of slowed down a tiny bit. All of the threads began to weave together. It began to be much smoother, much more plain sailing, much clearer and easier to follow as well. Like if you're half asleep, don't watch this. Unless you, maybe it'll wake you up actually, because it is very intense with a lot going on and very high energy. But then it begins to mellow out as the true meaning of Christmas begins to shine through. Do I recommend it? Well, yes, if you're a fan of Ed, Ed and Eddie, because I think it's actually pretty decent. If, like me, you grew up watching Ed, Ed and Eddie, but you don't really remember it, I'd say this is a pretty great one to go with, because it is warm and fuzzy at times, and I think, from what I remember, it does feel like a pretty typical episode in terms of the pacing and the energy and the characters in it. I wouldn't recommend it if you've never seen Ed, and Ed, Ed and Eddie. I don't think it's brilliant if you don't have a connection with the show, or indeed if you're not looking to enjoy Ed, Ed and Eddie. It's not one of those animations that I think everybody will benefit from and everybody will enjoy. I feel like there's definitely a select audience, but I enjoyed the second half. The first half was intense and chaotic and in fitting with Ed, Ed and Eddie, so it's not a fault of the show. I'm just 30 years old now and found it to be a little bit too hyperactive, but it was decent. I'm glad I've seen it. I don't remember having seen it. I think by 2004, I stopped watching it at Neddy. Pretty much, at least. Um, I probably watched it more so around about 2000. This is where somebody tells me that Ed and Neddy wasn't out in 2000. Um, 
Apparently they were still making it in 2008. The first season, season aired in 1999. So yeah, I, pro I probably watched it in about 2000, 2001 maybe. Uh, maybe a bit after that. 2008, really? That's... And then we realised that was 14 years ago. Either way, if you grew up watching Ed, Ed and Eddie, or indeed if you still watch Ed, Ed and Eddie, I'd say it's worth a watch. But if not, well, if you do decide to watch it, just... Brace yourself.